Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra. A little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show, episode 52. And I lost my ping pong game. Yep. I had to just nip it in the bud straight away because a lot of you guys messaged me on my personal Instagram um, and I let you down. Um, straight sets. Straight sets, yeah. Look, I went into the game expecting a good performance. Um, obviously, I've never played this bloke before, never even seen him play. And I was confident because I'm the PM champion. I've gone in there with with wins under my belt, mm. you know, and um, went in there and just got nervous. Cracked on I, the I pressure. Got performance anxiety. Yeah. I was like um, a penis that doesn't get erect. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't get going. Um, so the games were to 11. I lost, I think it was like 11, six and 11, seven. So it was pretty convincing. Um, got a few points, a few good points on the board, but did you feel like crying? Oh yeah. 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 I felt very, very sad, very upset. Um, but you know, a couple of hours passed and a few people, trust me, I got ripped into because I'm, I'm supposed to be the one that wins for the PM shift. And I couldn't do it. And to be honest, he was probably a better player. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't up to the up to the task on the day. So apologies for that. Um, I'm the second best in the Perth Customer Fulfillment Centre. But, you know, we'll take that on the chin. It's like in Talladega Nights. If you're not first, you're last. Yeah. Talladega Nights. Yeah. But I think that's that's a very negative way of looking at it. I'm trying to look at things more positive. Yeah. Yeah. So... I guess I just need to take that on the chin. And I actually asked um, one of our managers to do Grand Slams. So for each school term, yeah, four, do four tournaments throughout the year and make it an annual thing. What did the manager say? Done. Really? Yeah, because it was really successful. Everyone enjoyed it. Everyone got around it. Buy like a and trophy or something. You can get yeah, it yeah. engraved the name. Um, so yeah, obviously it was rough to to go through that loss, but I'm proud to have been there and played in in front of such a big crowd. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I got fucked up on the weekend. Yeah, Saturday yeah. night went to my girlfriend's cousin's twenty first. Was um was good. Was good. Didn't know anyone there. So in my mind, I go, all right. When I'm sober, it's going to be hard for me to make oh, 100%. new friends. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know these people. Um, walking into a group and starting a conversation is just not going to happen with me in this current state. Yeah, but if you go there not knowing anyone, that can also be fun, you know? Yeah. and It's only opportunity. Mm. Now, this is just at a house, right? Quite a new house as mm. well. So, uh, I'm making my own drinks. I'm just doing, you know, orange juice, vodka, El Tropicano. And um, I was enjoying myself. Horrible mixes. Yeah? Terrible. Because I'm just throwing vodka in there like crazy. And after maybe three, I was just, yeah, on another planet, mate. And I just kept going, 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 gone. I'm chilling with a bloke called Russ. That's not even his real name. Yeah. But Russ, cool guy. Um, I actually got a, I, th- I don't know if it was a good photo or not, but I think it was good. I got like a few good photos with, with him. him. Yeah. Just outside like the bathroom. That was cool. That's all right. Spilt my drink on their carpet a few times. A new carpet. You got I to expect that with the twenty first. One hundred percent. There's going to be some damage. Yeah, for sure. There's and I be think some damage. I controlled myself relatively well. Um, then we went home. So this is you know, well past midnight. I enjoyed myself. Like I, I went to the night with low expectations because I didn't know anyone. Mm. Turned it around with a lot of alcohol, which I don't you know condone. But if you need it, do it. Yeah, if you it don't have to be all the time. If there's low expectations. It can only be good. Exactly. And if it doesn't, if it's if it's a low night, you go. I didn't expect. Much you should anyway. approach most things in life with low expectations. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway. I, I'm, I always go in high expectations. So do I. I can't help so it. Do I. I just do. Yeah. But it's um, hard to meet those, you know. It was actually one of the first times in my life where someone's had to look after me when I got home. Yeah, that's so, fun though. So yeah, I got home and I like doing this thing where I lay on the front lawn for a bit just to you know love. Mm. Love the nature. I look at the stars and shit. I was laying on the lawn. Then I got up, went inside, um, stumbled into bed, passed out. Then then Tay had to like help me 
get undressed, have a shower. Was she drunk or not? No. Not at all? No, she's got her surgery today. Yeah. I wish, well, you'd say on Monday, hopefully it all went well and she didn't die. Um, hey, there's risk in everything, you know? There is risk. So you but, never know. Um, I hope she's She probably well. won't die, though. I feel like the odds are heavily in her favour to not die. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's only. But, like, I mean, look at the day. It's a day for it, isn't it? It is. It's grim. It's a real winter's day. You rocked up to the front door with a disgusted look on your face. I fucking like, hate winter, I said, mate, bro. what's wrong? What's wrong? And you were just like, oh, the weather's I shit. I hope global... <laughs> let's keep fucking up the planet, because global warming needs to get better, bro. I don't even want winter. We've talked about global warming before, but... Like, I was talking to a bloke from work about it, and we came to the agreement, and I know you and I have talked about this before, but, um, you know, there was the ice age, everything got really cool mm. and really cold, and then thousands of years passed, and the warm get hot, gets boy. warmer. It's the circle of life. Who doesn't like a... Who doesn't want a tropical world? Yeah. And the thing is, we'll adjust. We're, like, our world will come with, up with more inventions and more ways to Everything's stay Everything's going to cool. be fine. And in uh, like, hundred thousands of years... It'll get cold again. Yeah, but like I feel like everything throughout the ice age, pr- everything pretty much died mm. throughout that. Like, and then you got um, that's why the dinos left. Yeah, the dinos they left. They couldn't. They couldn't survive. All the um, Aren't, uh, crocodiles, dinosaurs, right? So they survived the ice age. Yeah, underwater. That's, that's see? crazy. See, they're rough. That's they look like they could survive anything though. Mm. Then so did um, was it turtles? Like tortoises and turtles. They well, they, they live forever, bro. So yeah. Anyway. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that it's it's a cycle. The world is going to get cooler. The world is going to get warmer. So when Trump had that climate change guy have a chat with him and he said the world will get cooler, he wasn't wrong. It'll he happen. just said, trust me. He never it, gave a time frame. No, it could be in six million years, but it's going to happen. I didn't watch that thing. Was it good? Oh, it was funny. They just going at each other? It was funny. Yeah, this was not the debate. This was just before the debate and it was him talking with, yeah, like a climate change activist mm. or some shit like that. Or a guy who was... He might have just been like a... a scientist or something. Or even just a journalist asking questions yeah, about yeah, it yeah. and what he's going to do to stop it. And he goes, oh, we'll be fine. Like, it's just, it's going to change. Yeah, we'll be fine for like hundreds and thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. It's not our issue. And we don't have to worry about our grandkids, like our 12 time grandkids or whatever. No, you, you don't want to have everything solved for them. They've got to go no through way. some hardship. Exactly. I've gone through coronavirus, mate. Yeah, we went through a pandemic, mate. So you can figure out how to fix mm. the world... We're just two banditos up in this bitch. Exactly. No, nah, they got to have... The world's fine. And we want warm yeah. weather, so... No, nah, we'll be fine. And, yeah, everyone's making a big deal about Some it. Some climate but, person's going to come in and be like, that's not how it fucking works, yeah, man. But what, no, but just use your common sense and logic. I'm no scientist. I have as much right to say things as Jimmy on the street does. Mm. However, the way I see it is We're that... We're here in the real world, not in some lab. It, exactly. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Everything goes round and round. The circle of life, mate. Exactly. Everything circles. We've said it before. We'll oh, say yeah. it again. Um, yeah, so fucked up on the weekend. We went out to do some merch shopping. Yeah. Right. So we went to try and find some shirts to try on to um, just have a gaze, see what suss the fabrics yeah we want the, the quality sizes. first exactly because we don't want to rip you guys off and like get shit quality we also want to make some money so we can put invest back into the podcast and we want to we thought because we're looking online mm. but it's too hard to judge you know the quality of something so yeah. we thought we want it from perth we yeah. want a perth company invest in the local businesses yeah you know do our part for the state build up our economy build up this economy that's what we're doing mm-hmm. And then put our money back out there yeah. into the into the world, the stratosphere. First place we go, shithole. Yeah, look, online it said it was a really good place. Went there, the guy was a bit rude, wanted us to get a quote. We just wanted to try on stuff and get a price. Yeah, like we how just, much does this blank shirt cost? Tell us. Couldn't tell us. Couldn't tell us. So And the shirts were shit out. Off we went to Osborne Park, right? And we were like, okay, we're trying to find this place. My map's fucked up. We did a wrong turn, basically. Yeah, then I had Papa Yui. Yeah, I said, Dill, come on, turn around, we'll go back and have a look. So Dill turns into this sort of car park thing, and I see a sign, a big, like, bright pinky red sign, Colonial Printing. And I was like, hang on, this is a T-shirt printing place. It's like out of, it was like a movie. It was mm-hmm. genuinely, that scene is out of a movie. It's when you're looking for something, and then... It comes to you out of nowhere. Yeah. And there's like bright lights around and that yeah. music plays. The and then music. 
it, it didn't even look like it was open. Like we nah. couldn't find a front door. And Dewey goes, oh, that might be the front door. I was about to turn around. And then we go, we in. go fuck it. We'll walk in there. Little Asian lady doing the cleaning. Yeah. Reminded us of Bali, mm-hmm. which is perfect. We go in, it's quiet. It's quiet. And there was a little bit of space to waltz around and have a look at this clothing. Of everything. Of everything. Try on section. Different shirts. They had hats, beanies, hoodies, the lot. They had some beautiful tees. Beautiful tees. And we don't want like a slim fit tee. We want like a block box It's tea. a nice team that yeah. fits everyone. Yeah, exactly. Because we want to be inclusive. Yeah. Right? That's what we do with this. We make jokes about everyone. Anyway. So we've gone to this place. We've tried on some stuff. And this old man appears. He was like a genie out of a fucking bottle. Yeah. He, he comes out. Like the, when the fairy godmother comes in a movie, but mm. it was the fairy godfather. And you described him as like... The guy who hangs around the footy club for 30 years and he's just like the uh, the people person. Had the you know? Mount Lawley golf sweater on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just incredible. And this bloke's come up to us and said, what can I do you for, boys? Oh, it was straight away we just felt yeah. at home. I just yeah. felt comfortable. Yeah, it felt like Papa is yeah. giving us like a warm Milo just before bedtime. Beautiful. And we just said what we wanted and he called us entrepreneurs and shit. Yeah, it was, that was so nice. good. Gave us a good price on the what oh, we need. Very good price. And so things are looking up. At the moment that's that's where we're looking. So that's the merch update. We're looking at doing designs as well. Um but at this stage, just for those who are watching, probably just T shirts to start with. Yeah, just some tees. Yeah, just some tees. Because we're heading into summer. People want hoodies. Especially in Perth, you won't be wearing a hoodie this no. summer. It's gonna be thirty eight degrees every fucking day. Um so for now, t-shirts, we're going to do pre-orders, we'll set up a website or do something like that, and let's make this shit the real thing. You even had a good deal. Jam on Dylan bikinis, bro, for summer. Mm, that would I'm be so saying. good. So we'll, JD. Mm-hmm. The thing is, we'll see how the first drop goes. Yeah, because if I like five people buy it, then we'll just What's kill ourselves, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no but if, if we get a decent amount of people and we can get this shit happening... That'll be good. And then yeah. then we can look. So, look, if you want hoodies, if you want beanies, if you want hats. If, if we you sold want 50 bikinis, T-shirts, we'd see that as a success. Oh, 100%. That's, the, that's our meter for like, if, if we go success. under that, we'll be a bit disappointed. Yeah. And if we hit that, we'll be like, beautiful, that's, that's amazing. Magic. Um, but yeah, in order for us to do these bigger things, you guys have got to help us and buy these tees. So, we're going to try and make them look as good as we can for as cost effective as we can. Yeah. So it's up to you guys to help us to help you. you get yeah, help me? us help you. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful way to put it. Exactly, mate. Pay it forward. Yeah. Um, I saw a sidekick the other day, involuntarily, at Dome, right? Just with my mum. Maybe she knew you'd be there, mate. Just with mum and girlfriend. And this lady knew exactly what she was doing. She was wear- wearing all pink, pink hair, like purple eyeliner, pink um How old? Dress. 50? Yeah, I'd say six, 50, 60s. Can and I really imagine her? Very, very strange. She had like jewellery everywhere. Very, very short Like woman. a gypsy type yeah, thing. Gypsy. gypsy and she, she's like a five foot two. Yeah. Short. Um, walked in and basically sat down in the corner, right? Yeah. Didn't order anything. People came up and said, do you want anything? She said, no, 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 I'm all good. What dome did you go to? Gosnells, right. And she was just waiting for someone to come up to her. Okay. No one did. So then she had to go to people. So what she'd do is she'd like, she'd, oh, I can't even, I actually went to the toilet, came back, and she was at the table talking to mum and Tay, right? Do you reckon she's the real deal? It seemed a bit I real. I think some people right? have those powers. I'm, I, I yeah, yeah, genuinely yeah. do. Yeah. And... She was talking to mum and the way, like everything she was describing was real. Now, it's interesting because you and I are very iffy on star signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a load of horse shit. I'm 50-50. Yeah. I think it's just, yeah, anyway. Um, and then this chick was just saying very truthful things about my mum. And I was like, okay, it's sort of generalised, but it fits too perfect. Yeah, because some is, the, the psycho could go, I feel something is troubling you and the person mm. will be like, oh my God, how do you... Yeah, that's, but, uh, everyone but this has sounds troubles. a bit more specific. Yeah, you know? a little bit more. And then, so she said, okay, you need to do this, do this, do this and your life will be better and you'll be much happier, right? Sort of like a follow your heart type thing. Yeah. Then to my girlfriend, she goes, you're going to be very successful in whatever you choose to do. Okay. 
you'll be very successful. And then she looks at me and she goes, You're going to be homeless. She goes, You're very sensitive. Okay. Are you? Uh, yeah, I am. So, like, messages do get to me. Yeah. Like, just little things will annoy me. And, yeah, like, I was like, Okay, yeah. I wonder why she thought that, though. You just start crying as soon as she says it. Imagine and, that. And then she goes, you need to um, like stand up for yourself a bit more. Okay. And I was like, okay. I don't really... People don't confront me that often. Like, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. She was like, just tell more people to fuck off. And I was like, okay. And she said, do things for you, not for other people. And so, like, focus on... If I do stuff for me, then I can help others. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, also very generalised. And then she slipped mum a business card. So, you know, like she's do- giving a little free session, a little yeah, taster. Yeah, and then she wants more. And she knows at the dome, everyone's sitting down. Perfect environment. So, her business model is set Comforting out. warm food as well. You're, yeah. you're ready to hear. And she gives you hugs as well. She's a very nice lady. And But I, I was just thinking, okay, mum got a very good informative tip. like, And it was all positive. Like, you're a lovely, kind soul. Okay. Right? Tay, you're going to be very, very positive. Like, you're going to be successful. You're going to be this. You're sensitive. I got fucking stitched you're up. You're sensitive and tell people to fuck off. I got stitched up. No, no Is your mum going to go to her or? I think mum will. I won't be and I don't think Tay will. But mum will see her because they sort of had a bit of a connection. connection. I could tell. I could tell. Um, yeah, you got stitched up big time with so that. Yeah. I've always wanted to go see one. Yeah, yeah Claire Boyne, it's like, But they're expensive, bro. Yeah, it's like 80 bu- 70 bucks for a session. It's not cheap. Session. And that's just... Because... Yeah. Because mm. I'm thinking, if, say, they genuinely can see into your future and they just see poor, poor death, hungry, heartbreak, no, they're not going to tell you that, are they? Are they just going to say, your I life's going to be shit I think, forever? I think the real ones will tell you that some bad stuff's coming up. You've got to be willing to... I, 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 I think, know, man. I think the good ones will be honest. That's their job. Yeah, you, know? you got to be honest. And I think there aren't good ones and bad ones. Um, let us know your psychic experiences. We'll try and get back to as many messages as we can. But yeah, I just... We should see one. I got stitched up. See one together and just Could talk about video. the body. That'd yeah. be good. We just want a duo one. Where do you see us as a duo? And I'd want to ask if we can bring a camera in. Yeah. So, so we can film it for a video. Jamal and Dylan see a psychic. That'd be cool. A real psychic would know we're already coming. Yeah. So she would be prepared or he. You two... Are you brothers? You have a, a brotherly bond. I feel like it's never blokes who do this shit either. No. It's only women who... Because mm. maybe they're a bit more... I think women are a bit more in touch with the... Emotional side And the of energies life. of the universe and stuff. True, true. I, I reckon. Yeah. Because I've never seen a male psychic, male clairvoyant. Rarely. There actually used to be one on Sunrise. He was this gay fella. Okay. But... More in touch with the feminine side. Yeah. But he was a bit more like... He did it more with the star signs. So it's very generalised. He'd be like... You know, yeah, Capricorn, you're gonna fucking I don't know, have a good day, it's yeah, shit like yeah. that. Okay, yeah, but um, yeah, I think the the psychics, the real ones, I think they're all female. Yeah, so I've had like um people tell me stories, especially within my family. Like my mum reckons that her mum was a little bit psychic, mm. not to the point where she could become a clairvoyant, but she always had feelings and had some skills, had some skills, yeah. And we actually noticed that with my sister. She seems like to know some things like that too. Um, yeah, women have good instincts, I feel, as well. Mm. But then I feel like some have horrible ones. But oh, yeah, yeah. it would definitely be more women to men in that ratio. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about this. So when I was when I was a bit younger, um, I, I got stitched up. So I've been stitched up a lot in my life, right? So I was, in, all, mate. I was in primary school, right? And there was this kid. The good old days. He was a little bit of a shady kid. He did the wrong thing a lot of the time. But he played footy, I played footy, so we sort of got along. Um, he came up to me one day and said, um, oh, there's this really cool game on the internet. Go home and play it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Cool. What's it called? And he goes, oh, it's called Play With Her. So I'm thinking, okay. Um, he goes, like, you can customise this chick and then you can go and play all these sporting games. So, like, you can take it to the Olympics so you can uh, you can make a brown hair, blonde hair, and do javelin. I'm thinking this shit. is perfect. Because I love like online sporting games. Yeah. Give me an online sporting game as a well, it would have been nine or ten, about nine, ten. You eat old. that shit up, eh? Oh, Just I'd eat it up like it's hummus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never fucking I've eaten never it. I've never had it either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, I've I've come home from school and I've used Dad's computer. That one over there. 
but it was a box back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember those. And same keyboard, probably, eh? Yeah, exact same yeah. keyboard. Fucking keyboard. Um, and I was sitting there, and I've typed it in. Play with her. Play with her. Dot com. Press enter. Boom. I got titties and puss puss right on the screen. And How old were you? What, 10, nine 11, or ten? Nine, oh, yeah. I was like year th- four, three, three or four, whatever that is. And what this kid Eight was he nine, like ten. a little fuckhead? Oh yeah, like he yeah, a little bit of a troublemaker, and he was up to some dirty shit. Up to no good, mate. Anyway, so he's lied to me and told me that this is a game website, and it was porn. So young me is sitting there, and I'm thinking, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, and then. I kept clicking. So, yeah. Then I kept clicking to like the different photos, the different videos. And I was like, geez, oh, what's going on here? Because mm-hmm. I'd never been exposed to that stuff before. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's in front of me. It's in my eyes. That was dad, by the way. Yeah, just going. <laughs> See you, John. Yeah. Um, and... I was sort of freaking out, but as much as I wanted to click off, I wanted to keep looking because I'd never seen this stuff before yeah. and I was like, I need to know what I'm getting myself into when I'm a bit older. So I need to look at this as a learning experience it's to grow up. It's an educational exactly. module. And then I like, closed down all the tabs after about 20 minutes of looking. Mind you, I was pretending to play a game the whole time. So mum and dad were sitting up there. Yeah, they're not thinking their kids looking at that. No, no way. It's a crazy place, man. No way. And I was sort of doing like the little the little peak to make yeah. sure that they weren't, you know, catching out me out. the corner of the eye. Anyway, next day comes and mum and dad sit me down. Oh, they've checked the history. They've checked the history. You, know, you see, you don't know how to clear that shit when you're They've young. checked the history and they've gone, what have you done? And I just started crying. I started crying because I knew that I'd done something wrong, but I knew that I got stitched up. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it was, it was so-and-so. Let's call him... Brad Spooky. I'll tell you his real name after. It's pretty similar. Brad Sp- <laughs> Brad Spooky stitched me up. Like, he told me that there was this sports game. And I said, oh, it's called Play With Her. And then <laughs> Dad was like, oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was it. I got, um, I think I got no computer for the next two, three weeks. And that, really? That was Fuck. that was sort of like a grounding type thing I don't for me. think I've ever been grounded, ever. Yeah. I've I've never was never, I don't think I was ever grounded. I just got a few things taken off of me for for immoral actions. Yeah. Have yeah. I had shit taken off me? I don't think I have. I'm quite spoiled though, so yeah. mum's pretty... Did you spit the dummy when you were a kid any time or... Did I? Throw the toys out the pram, run away from home. No, did you, I did think you ever I, run away no, from I home? No, I never ran away from home. Yeah. I was pretty... As a baby, I think I was like decent mm. well behaved and then like i said because me and my brother have such a big age gap yeah i was pretty spoiled growing up well, yeah. i still am to be honest mum's pretty yeah, generous treats you like a little king yeah so. little prince i am spoiled um yeah there was one time i didn't run away from home but i was hiding in the backyard i didn't want anyone to find me because <laughs> i was sad and <laughs> it was funny so like, we have a back door and then the barbecue mm-hmm. and then a table here? yeah so i sat behind the barbecue in between the barbecue and the table and mum and dad like were walking out trying to find me i'm curled up in a ball like i don't want Why? him to find me oh it's because bad day at the office no, what happened was that when i was young my sister would lie and say that like i'd hit her yeah <laughs> i'd say that i'd scratched her arm and what she'd do <laughs> she'd run behind the shed and she'd scratch herself or she'd punch herself to make it look like i've done the damage and then i've gone and i've ran to <laughs> The barbecue because I, I, like they're not going to believe her. No, they're not going to believe me. Sorry. Yeah. So I've had to hide and yeah, I just stayed there for maybe two hours. Did you or and something. your sister get along growing up? Yeah, I'd say ninety percent of the oh, time. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah. Yeah, ninety yeah. percent of the time we did, but then yeah. there was a lot of times when if I didn't get my way or she didn't get her way, there was scraps. Yeah. Yeah. See, me and my brother would just fight for fun. It wouldn't yeah. be over anything. Mm. We would do a lot of like. He would hold Jack, the good, dog, very yeah. vicious dog. R.I.P. Though. R.I.P. And I would run, and then he'd let Jack go, and Jack would try and bite my feet. We play that game a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's an aggressive dog. That's we used to have a blow-up pool. So a little fuck a bit my ankle. And I used to, it'd be like twenty meter sprint. He'd give me about five meters head start. I'd be running, and he'd let Jack go, and he'd be holding him like yeah. revving him up. Lets him go, 
and then he'd he'd have to I'd have to jump into the pool before he bites my feet. Oh, oh got close, man. That's he'd be like long. jumping in the air trying to bite the back of my heels. Good times. <laughs> Good times indeed, mate. A rip. Um, you had a bad Australia Post experience. Honestly, fuck Australia Post. I, oh man. So firstly, right, I get a text. I don't I don't wake up till like eight thirty nine usually. And then I check my phone, six fifty one. Package is coming today. Okay. Click, press Y if you want us to leave it in a safe place, right? Yep. Seven o'clock. Then at seven o'clock, they sent a text saying, your package is at the Canning Vale, you know. Okay. Firstly, why didn't you just fucking drop the drop thing it off? Home. There was three cars in the driveway. Obviously, someone's home. Yeah. Lazy postman, right? Prick. Yep. <laughs> just drop it off me. I pay for delivery at my house, not for pickup at a post office. Yeah. So that annoyed me. And then I thought, fuck this. So I go to Canning Vale, right? I say, here's my phone. You know, they said it's here. She goes, oh, it's been scanned wrong. It's not actually here. So I was like, what do you mean? She goes, oh, we've had a problem with that today. You the wasted posties, your trip. Posties have been scanning it wrong. So I'm thinking, oh, what the fuck? Go back home, look in the letterbox. There's a note from the shitty postman who <laughs> didn't just leave my fucking thing there. Yeah. So he wrote out a note to leave in the letterbox instead of just... Putting the package in the letterbox. Why didn't he put it in the letterbox? I don't box? fucking know. Was it's, it might have been a bit too big? It was. It, it's a kid's basketball jersey for my nephew. It is this <laughs> big, man. It's like you could fit it anywhere. What basketball jersey is it? Golden State, because Wade goes for him. Okay. So it's Curry like Christmas present for them, like joint. Is there a name on it? Yeah, yeah, Curry. Yeah, just for both of them. But um, oh, I hope he doesn't watch that. He's gonna know his Christmas present oh. now. That's all right. Um. That's right, Don't I cut, cut it. I can, oh, cut, maybe. I can cut the name. Anyway, and then, um, so then it says, oh, your package is at Thornley. Okay, <sighs> bit of a fuck around. Go to Thornley. Line up, you know, it's about two o'clock. She goes, oh, you have to come back after four. It's not here yet. Why does it say it's there then? What the fuck, man? And then I get it, just to rub it in, and I get a new text from Australia Post at 3.30 saying, your package is at Thornley, go pick it up. Why are they fucking me around like this, man? I was, I've never, been, I was so annoyed. I just wanted to like, just hit the smash post up you. the post office. Yeah. Like, what is it? Why would you not just put the package, leave it at the door, mm. put it in the letterbox, throw it at my car? I don't care. What's the, isn't it hard for him to take shit back to the post office? Probably. I remember Bro. this was only, I don't know, maybe a month ago and mum, mum was waiting on a package and I was at home. I was the only one home. They've knocked on the door. So I've put down my PlayStation control. I walked to the front door. He's just, he's rode off. He's literally left after five seconds, knocked on the door, done my job. They don't even knock most of the time. My mum was sitting in the lounge room. Yeah. The car pulls in, like a delivery, you know, yeah. whatever the companies are. And he doesn't even, he just gets ready to put a note in the letterbox. Mum goes, she's like, what are you doing? You didn't even knock, I'm home. Yeah. Lazy people, man. The one we have here is very good though. He's like our family friend now. Yeah, he's he, been doing he's it He's always for around, got a massive beard. Man's just a good guy. Loves his job. Yeah. Been doing it for decades, yeah. hasn't he? He loves it. So yeah, shout out to the good postmen, but the ones that don't do their job properly, fuck, fuck you. Yeah. This is just something that I've been thinking of for a while. It's one of those... Theory. I feel like it's similar to the younger sister hotter theory. I feel like it has that sort of potential. Okay. All right. So I've noticed that there are a lot of girls who look like Dory from Finding Nemo. Okay? <laughs> like <with> fish? <laughs> yeah. They look like Dory from Finding Nemo. Body or face? Face. Just okay, face. face. I've, I don't know. If, I've never seen a fish body girl, but maybe that's a thing as well. <laughs> with but girls and stuff. Girls' faces do look like Dory from Finding Nemo. Now- both the D'Amelio sisters do, right? Okay. And I don't know if it's because of the freckles. It might be a long nose I, with okay. the face as well. I think the freckles... I think it's if they have a long nose and freckles, they look like Dory. They do. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, but... And then there's also a girl that we there's know personally. There's another one personally, as well. I'll tell you in a minute. And but. she looks like Dory. Mm. Who... And so I'm thinking if there's one girl from my personal life that yep. we know... Two, and actually, there's two, yeah. Fa- yeah, two, and two and two. That's four people. So there must be hundreds of thousands, millions of girls who look, look like, like Dory. Dory. Girls look like Dory. I've never seen a Nemo though. I've not seen a Nemo. No, that'd be maybe, cuter than a Dory. Maybe Nemos are just normal people. Yeah, not normal people. Yeah. Imagine a bloke telling you you look like Dory. Yeah, that's not what any girl wants to hear. I don't think. No, we've just told all of them. 
But yeah, there's the D'Amelio sisters look like Dory. Mm. Other girls look like Dory. So I feel like there's a lot of women in the world who look just like Dory. Yep. And I think I think there's potential out there. I want girls to duet this who look like Dory. Yeah. It's for us now, it's finding Dory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finding Dory, I like that. So yeah, the Demilios. Just swim on over to us, Charlie and Dixie yeah. Dory. And we're allowed to say these things because people call us all kinds. Oh, of Oh yeah, we get a, all throughout the week. Yeah. It's just oh, pedo mustache. Yeah, just whatever. Whatever. Racists. I'll knock you out. I'll kill your family. Yeah. Yeah. We. What did one guy? You got called pedo mustache, and I got called skinny C, and he'd knock us both out. Apparently, yeah. so <laughs> I doubt you would beat two on one, mate. With your twenty private account, twenty one private followers. You can't. If you're gonna send hate, right? Just at least do it well. Yeah, do it from your real account and have a bit of pride about it. Make it like a good p- structure, it well, like let good us punctuation. Know, let us know what we did wrong, so and we if, can improve. And, yeah, if you you're know? gonna give hate, right? That's fine, but you have to give a solution. I've said this a lot. Yeah. You can't just come out. That's like when all the climate change shit was happening. People say, the world's blah, blah, the world's getting hot. But it's like, well, what's your solution? Yeah. Don't complain if you don't mm. have a solution. Exactly. Critique well. Yeah. And I think someone actually messaged us this week and said that that was one of his favourite quotes from the podcast. Yeah. Episode 14 Ages or something. Ago, yeah. You said, if you're not part of the... No, yeah, if you complain about it, be part of the solution, not the problem or something yeah. like that. If yeah. If you're going to give... Like, you can hate, that's fine, but just yeah. do it well. And don't yeah. do it from a... You hate can't just well. be like, oh, you, I, don't like how you, I don't like how you look. I'll knock you both out yeah. from my private account. Yeah. That he's obviously made just to send hate. Mm-hmm. Come on, bruv. Grow up. <laughs> you said that on a... Replied to someone the other day on yeah, a TikTok. Yeah. And they were yeah. like... And you were just like, grow up. And it got just, more likes than theirs. Yeah, about I love when that happens. Because... Normally we don't reply to it, but sometimes if it affects me, that's what we said before. Like, man, sensitive. You tell me to kill myself. Watch out. Mm. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Nah, the more we do this, the easier it gets. Hundred percent. Yeah. We even had an old old TikTok where we said we prefer uh, like other accents in comparison to Indian accents when it comes to a sexy voice. And we also said. Imagine waking up in India wouldn't be ideal. Yeah. And it's okay because I have an Indian friend. Yes. Who went to India. Yes. And, and he, he said it's he an said absolute that. shithole. Yes. So it was that mm. some Indian guy who rep- responded to that. I didn't yeah, even yeah. Get to see the video, man. It's no, neither, because it all got taken down. It yeah, all this got happened taken and I didn't down. know any of it happened neither. until you told me. Um, and then we got loads of like, oh, you all are Y'all racist. some racist motherfuckers. Yeah, with that pet of mustache, you're <laughs> skinny. Like, Knock just you out. All, all of this stuff from, um, yeah, just some things that we said about 30 weeks ago, mm. which obviously we've said. That's what's going to happen with, I already know, like, if when we get really big, you yeah, know, stuff will come 10, out 10,000 a week, 50,000 a week, 100,000 a week, when the subscribers go up, every, yeah. People will be like, in potty 12, they said something homophobic, mm. cancel Jamo and Dylan. Like yeah. that, that will happen all the time for us. Yeah, but it happens to everyone every day. Yeah. And if your fan base flips on you, then that's shit. But mm. I feel like our fan base is pretty, on us. Pretty, pretty strong and solid. And their understanding, if you see a clip from us that mm. someone could have even changed, yeah. right? Mashing words and shit together. Don't believe everything Don't you see. Don't believe on the everything internet. you see. You watch a full podcast, and I reckon you'll like us as human beings. Yeah, that's a. Podcast is one of the best ways on to present yourself on social media because yeah. people actually get to know who you are. Yeah. Most of the other times, they don't. It's like a five-minute video. It's, you know, mm. whereas on a potty, they get to know you. They do. And that's why I love this so much. I'm not even calling it a job yet, but I just yet, love this. Once we, It will never be a job. I love the messages we get sent. This week was ridiculous with how many we got sent. We were sifting through that shit for two and a half it hours, It takes ages mate. now before the potty to yeah. do it. We need a little assistance. That's, that's why we've, yeah, that's why we've dedicated a whole day to this. Thanks to all um, the PTs who reached out last week um, after the potty. Um, you're all doing a really good job. And some graphic designers too. No one cool. reached out. No <laughs> PT reached out. I wanted some free sessions, but no. Maybe we have no PT listeners. Maybe not. Maybe not. Cairo obsession. <laughs> so I've never been to the chiropractors, right? The bat crackers. But. I watch a, I watch videos on it all the fucking time. Yeah. And I just I see the instant I hear the crack 
and I see the instant breath of relief <laughs> that these people have when, you know, the, yeah. and the chiropractor's always this muscly good mm. dude, like in shape, and he just crack. Mm. And I see that, like, he does it to women, bro. They go to wedding ring on, cracks her back, and she just goes, ah. Oh. Oh. Like, she has this, it's like an orgasmic release, bro. Yeah. And I just want to get my back cracked. <laughs> I think I just... Like this big, strong man. Right, but I've, when I watch it, he just, like, the way... I'm addicted to watching chiropractor videos. He's got the big hands. I watched one, actually, this Australian bloke. This kid was walking in, and he was, he he was like, bent over. Like, his back was rounded. And over two he weeks... bent his back for the chiro. Over... He's just... His posture's fucked. Okay. And I'm talking, like, horrific. Yeah, and like over hunch, two, hunchback yeah, of Notre and he, Dame. Yeah, he's walking straight after two weeks. The car is a magician. <laughs> and just the relief, the relief I see in yeah. these people's faces, yeah. I really want to go. But I don't know if it costs a lot or... I think it does. So, I don't know. I think it'd cost about 100 bucks. <sighs> but for that release... Better sell some fucking t-shirts and... <laughs> <laughs> better sell some tees. Better sell some tees. Let's get on to this question. We've got two questions got before two questions. we before we head into the voice messages. It's going to be a bit of a and longer confessions. Bit of a longer potty today. Yeah, confessions and VMs. People get happy when it's a, like over an hour. They go, yeah. Oh, this is like the olden days. That's like people were pissed off that our our um fiftieth potty it wasn't a big enough celebration. That's all right. Grow we'll work up. on some get. <laughs> we'll work on some guests now. Yeah. There's just there's not that many people in Perth, but now that not the footy really. season's done and the players are. Out of quarantine yeah. and stuff, maybe we can get some. We'll get a whole variety of people. I want to get like a fucking surfer on. I want to mm. get some makeup bitch, like a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, doctor. Heaps of maybe someone who's like a defense attorney, mm. defending the criminal, defending the criminals, bro. Or the on alleged that, on that dark side, I like that. So this kid, he's sixteen in year eleven. Got invited by four girls to go on a drive with them. He's the only guy there. Doesn't like him, just sees him as friends. Is it gay for him to go? Mm. Four girls, one guy on a road trip. Look, it's not a big issue, but there's potential that they see you as a gay best friend. And if they're not hot, I don't see the point either. <laughs> you know. Oh, that's what it comes down to, doesn't no it? No point being in the car with four Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> I think they seem as a maybe they seem as a gay best friend, but he has a way better feel for the situation than we do. Yeah, exactly. Coming to us is probably the worst thing to do here. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, to when you. some people ask us for advice, I'm like, man, I don't know. Your yeah, life must be in bad situation. Yeah, you're in jeopardy. We actually had one girl who said that she quit her job. She quit her job because we said she up quit the one of body. the two, which is beautiful. Yeah. That's I, love I guess to hear now that. you can call us influencers. What did one other guy say? He's like. I don't think you should listen to these two because we're yeah, in a yeah. pandemic, blah, blah, blah. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, he was like, oh, we're in the pandemic. Um, you shouldn't be quitting your job. Um, it'll really affect you economically. Grow up. Yeah, I said grow up. Um, because at the end of the day, it's people like her who can take our advice and use it or people can leave it behind mm. because you don't need to. It's up to you at the end of the day. You won't be financially if we're that little, stable. If we're that little push along, we're that little push along. That's we're what you needed because the universe gave the you a push along. Yeah. And then we also got, so this is actually quite interesting. So buildings, right, add no weight to the earth because all of its materials were already on earth. Mm. Do buildings add weight to earth? No. They can't, right? They can't. It's impossible for buildings to add weight to earth. Right? Think of this though. If you had... Um, or does weight change if you... So, so you've got this. Yeah. Bottle of water, right? Not much in it. You put that in the freezer and it becomes ice. Is that heavier than the water? Mm, that, I was thinking the exact same thing. When you make... When you change a material... Out, does it change the weight? Someone's going to be like, it's basic science, boys. Yeah. Well, fucking Fuck science, bro. Yeah. <laughs> science Fuck is science. Gay. You can't even find a coronavirus <laughs> cure. All these scientists can't find nothing. Come on. They're getting paid... Give me a jammo Millies. 10 mil, we'll find it in a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's all up here. You probably get cured of coronavirus if you just believe it. Yeah, you just manifestation. Think, just think you don't have it. Just live without it. That's the biggest biggest tool, manifestation. It is. 100%. But yeah, adds, does it add weight? Well, I don't know. I don't know. If things, I don't we know. need a scientist on. I know. Just to <laughs> we have do. It. But I don't know how they'd go with that question either. Because I don't think that's something you learn like in, in day science one science school, class. Yeah. yeah. 
science school. Because <laughs> like I said to you before we started, imagine if you had billions and billions of buildings, right? Yeah. Like 10 times the buildings we had now on Earth. Is Earth heavier? Probably not because the materials that they're when using they're were already there. there. Yeah. But they're just in like a man. different form. Like if you have all this concrete. But that's the thing. Is a different form, does that add to the different, the weight or something or not? That well, ice would be heavier, right? Yes. So I maybe feel like buildings it make it heavier. I don't know, man. Because a solid weighs more than a liquid? Yeah, but all the liquids in mass spread across would probably be the same weight. But then you think, like a tsunami, right? Heaps of water coming at you. Imagine if that was ice. Yeah, yeah, true. Coming at you. You get say, crushed. Say there's this pool table, right? Was mm. um, like concrete before it's like okay. liquid. Oh, I don't know, liquid concrete. That's probably mm. stupid. But whatever your concrete block is before it's mm-hmm. concrete. So say, would this weigh the same in liquid Cement, form? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then when it's hardened, does it weigh the same? I don't know, man. This is way out of our depth. I don't know, bro. Good question. It's a thinking man's question, but I don't know where the fuck we're going with this one. Can't figure it out, eh? Nah. The answers just aren't here, man. That's the nah. thing. I need that neurochip thing from... Um, the Neuralink. Yeah. Yeah. I need that from old Elon. All right, let's get on to the confessions. Plenty sent in this week. Some raunchy ones, some fucked ones. Let's get into it's gotten it. gotten worse. So this girl, right? She's with a boy. Mm-hmm. She's got a bit of a boyfriend. Right. Seen at the moment. A bit of a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Just on that middle stage, you know? Okay, like talking. That's what people call Maybe it. going on a date or two. Mm-hmm. Just starting to see, introduce each other to friends. Starting to become one of those boyfies. Exactly. So she's fucked his best mate on the regular, right? Before she was talking to him and they no one knew. So she, now she's got to sit there and pretend that she doesn't know who the mate is and she doesn't have the... The guts to tell her current boyfriend that oh, I used to have sex with your mate all the time, and no one knew about it, you know. So it's like they brought, you know, oh, come meet my mate, and then they've seen it, and they go, oh. And then she's in that situation. Does she be honest and tell him? Because I think that's how I replied. I think I said you got to be on. Like the truth will come out. She one said day. she just can't. She doesn't have the whatever the balls, the, balls. the testicles, and she just can't say it. Yeah, look. That's, that's a rough situation. I, I, that I is feel a rough like s- it'll end up coming out. I kind of feel bad it, for it. Whether that's it's not your ideal. mate or her. Um, but then again, if you're in this this predicament, are you two meant to be? Are you two meant to be together if this is in the way? Mm. It's one of those roadblocks. It's a roadblock from the universe, bro. You knock that motherfucker out, you're all good. But how will he react? Find out next week on the Jamon Dylan show. Hopefully. I like follow-up stories, bro. Oh, it's like 60 it. minutes. <laughs> So this one, basically, she's just she's fucked her stepbrother in her stepmom's bed when she was fifteen. Had to clean the sheets. <laughs> Wait, a, a real like? I mean, I think it's real. Are, are all these stories real? Well, we hope that's so. pretty. I mean, some of them are a bit too detailed to make up, you know. But that's interesting, man. Porn hub. That is porn hub. Porn hub shows that. And normally a few, it's mate. a fakie and she's real life. This yeah. Good luck. But that's just interesting. That's fucked. All right. Where is man? Just type it in, I reckon. Oh, yeah, easy. All right. Confession. So one day I was watching some adult videos and I forgot that at the party last night... I connected to my mate's speaker. I had my Bluetooth on. Mate. When my mum found it it in the backyard and turned it on, it connected to my phone and started blasting the porn. A couple of awkward hours later, my mum started talking to me about respecting women and watching shit on the internet. (laughs) Imagine that. We we replied with, ha ha, gold. (laughs) And he's gone, cheers. (laughs) That is awkward. I love how the mum's respect. She thinks her son doesn't respect women. So his porn has just blasted. The at, mum's probably at a party. thought, "Fuck this! My son's an absolute animal." Yeah, and everyone's probably laughing at him and with him. You know? Yeah. All right. 
Just before ISO, I had a massive gather with my mates. I was fucked up on a lot of shit. I ended up in his pool fully clothed and somehow I went home, went to bed and halfway through the night, I felt something wet. I thought to myself, I must still be wet from the pool. I woke up about 12 the next day in my own piss, a full fucking puddle of piss on my bed that I slept in for 10 hours and I had the biggest disappointment rush through me. Loser, eh? That's a that's like a fuck my life moment. That's that's like, disgusting, bro. You slept in your piss. Oh, it's dirty. Number one, number two, he's drunk a lot for that to happen. Oh, to piss yourself, you're a mess, bro. Also, oh, he said a lot of shit. Um, there's yeah. probably some toxins involved in there, you know. But him being wet from the pool has obviously, like, if you're wet and you're trying to sleep, mm. yeah, you know, something's gonna happen there. Yeah, he's been on some. That's yeah. Look. He's consumed some stuff. Good confession. All right, this one full on. This one's just yeah. Okay. She goes, got a bit of a confession for the potty. So my brother had a girlfriend a few years ago that didn't live with us, and our family didn't really like her. I'd been watching these YouTube pranks, and I decided to do one on her. So I put a bunch of hair removal cream in her shampoo, not thinking much of it. But her hair started to fall out. So bad that she went to the doctors and they had no clue what the go was. So she eventually oh, had, she had cancer or something. So she eventually had enough and ended up shaving her whole head. She was still in high school and no joke, she had to take her year 12 picture wearing a shitty wig. I was like 11 at the time and I felt horrible, but didn't want to get in trouble. So I never told anyone, but I look back on it now. And fuck her. She sucked anyways. <laughs> that is fucked. That is like... That's just mean. That's evil. She was 11 and she knew what she was doing. Sorry, we just ran out of charge there. But yeah, that story was absolutely fucked. She, Losing her hair in year 12, man. That's rough. It is. And it's ruined her year 12 experience. But I'm not sure what type of person she is. And but to look back and go, nah, fuck her. That shows some... I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's I some hate. Like that. I don't know... What she's done to deserve that, but it must have been that's that lifelong bad. hate, you know, yeah, for sure. All right, last confession of the week. So the kid's in class, you know, and he shits himself accidentally, obviously, like Will from the Inbetweeners, exactly like Will. Gets up, runs to the toilet, throws the undies away, but it's gone through his underwear and it's all over his school shorts. Right? That's an explosive poo. So he's in the bathroom. Twenty minutes, someone comes in. Are oh, you all right, mate? He goes, yep, I'll be out in a minute, no worries. As soon as they left, he ran home. But I poo on his ass and yeah, he ran. Yeah, because we can't go back to class, can he? No. So how, he's, how far away did he live? <laughs> he's ran straight home. School's gone into lockdown. They thought he's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Because he, well, they didn't, you know what I mean? Shit boys run. He's got home at 11am, doors are locked, no key. So he's waited outside till 5pm for when his parents got home. And then he goes, Dad, I pooed my pants. His parents got home worried. The school called them saying they didn't know where he was. They tried calling him, but his phone had died earlier in the morning. Yeah, because he shat all over it. (laughs) He shat his pants, bro, and went home and the school went into lockdown. (laughs) Oh, that's not ideal. That's not what you want. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, imagine that. Poor fella. That's fucked, man. Shat his pants at school. That's sad. And ran home too. That's the most awkward run of his life. Yeah. Maybe that means he lives close to school. Yeah, he'd surely be two streets away or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you hope for it's not like a 20 minute run. Imagine that. Cross country to get home. Cross country. Oh. There you go. Confession's done for the week, mate. Tell let's us get, about your sins. Let's get straight into it. All right. Let's get into voice messages. Hope you're enjoying the Jamo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jamo and Dylan on Instagram. So a couple months back now, I was riding my bike in town and uh, it was a tight gap. Country voice. Between like a car mm-hmm. and the curve of the road. Yeah. And I, I shot my shot and went in between them and ended up spanging my handlebars. <laughs> On the rear view mirror of the car. Now, this mirror um, shattered and also uh, snapped. 
you know, I panicked a bit. I didn't know what to do. So I ended up just dipping from the scene. Am I a shit bloke for this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, leave a note next time. Well, that's so. what happened to Sorry, we saw Buzz. Josh Rognader's car yesterday. Oh. It's just fucked. Bro. I, I took a photo. <laughs> it, and I'm bad at this. I'm bad, like, when we do the potty editing, I just do it quick and just get it out because it's on the weekend and I like having fun on weekends. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I took a little photo, so hopefully I can put it in. But, yeah, basically, a guy with a much bigger car at his gym. Definitely like a trailer, like a ute with yeah, a trailer, yeah. middle. Higher up than his little, what's his car? I-20. I-20, little middle Mazzy. Yeah. Hyundai, no, Hyundai. Little H, little H. Um, Obviously been reversed into. Reversed into, and this car's so big, the other car, that it's just gone over the top of his, basically, like a monster truck. Yeah, the bonnet's fucked. Like, yeah. I couldn't stop laughing for a little bit. Yeah, you just kept laughing. It was funny. As. And they didn't have any, like, they had footage, but it's not conclusive or something. Yeah. It's inconclusive. And they couldn't find, they couldn't see the number plate, apparently. That's just rogue's luck, man. And he's just, he's not going to get it fixed, is he? But like, would he's I leave a note? See, I don't know if I would. That's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, look, if it's damaged that bad, you'd leave a note, I reckon. Because then you're like, oh, I've actually fucked up. That's a bad fuck up. Mm. Surely once you hit it, you can hear it. But he's gone up like that. He's probably, because he's a tradie, bro, probably listening to some fucking yeah, whatever. Some, what music did, like Triple J or... Or maybe even some 1980s. Some like, yeah, and had a smoke, probably snap. We're hat back there. there. Couldn't hear just, anything. Yeah. Jeez. <sighs> Unlucky. And he's probably like... Seen him at the gym since then. Mm. And it's interesting. He called it so a car and a curve. Isn't it a curb? Or did he did he mean curve in the rove? rove. Yeah, I don't know. I just called it a rove. McManus. Rove McManus, mate. Hamish and Andy start. Hey, Dumb One Dylan. I absolutely love the potty. My question is, if you could know the absolute and total truth to only one question, what question would you ask? I think I would ask... What came first, the chicken or the egg? Pretty shitty question to ask. Yeah. Fuck the chicken and the egg, bro. Yeah. Like, when I hear that, I think, what happens when we die? Yeah. Or even, yeah, how did we get here? Yeah, I'm thinking, I want to know either, are we in a simulation? Because I'm nearly dead set on that shit. Like the creator of the earth. What created the universe? Was it literally just a big bang? But then what was before Mm. that? So Are there multiple universes? Yeah. Is there other life? Do we have a twin version of us? Like, is there old, like, mul- yeah, is there like a parallel universe? I don't know, man. There's so many to ask. Hopefully, you could team up with a few people and just get all the answers. Yeah, you know? that's good. But I feel like it's one person. Oh, yeah, no, nah, the team up, that's cool. But if it was one person mm. on, in the world gets to ask one question, there'd be a big debate about that. What question do we want to know? Like, imagine if society. Can I have a billion dollars? Imagine if. Seven, imagine that. No, but it's the truth about something, though truth about something so like if you know the divinity definitive truth behind something so so i can't ask for money so let's say there's a norwegian guy who's 23 years old right and he gets given this wish there's seven billion people that know that this guy has the one question it's got to be something what to do question with how do you want him you know, to ask i had one something like what is made there a the god universe? or something like is, that yeah it's just it has to be something in that because realm, I think. because if they go is there a god and it's the definitive truth they go VAR and see if it's real. And imagine they, if it's and, just and, a no. And they say no God. But imagine if it's... No a, world wars. Imagine if it's a yes, though. Watch everyone's moral at things change, bro. Because you but if want it, to be in heaven. Yeah, but if it's a yes, do you only get one question? If there's a God, that doesn't mean there's a heaven. Mm. A God might just be the creator of the earth or the universe, right? So you only get the one question. It have to. I think there's about a group of ten questions that it could be. Okay. And you'd really have to narrow it down. And I'm just thinking, as a society, like as seven billion people, if everyone got to put a vote in, what would be the question? The question. Fuck. I hope there's somehow we get a question. That mm. would be incredible, and everyone gets the vote on the question. There's like a short list of ten. Yeah. I don't trust everyone though. Everyone, most people are idiots. It'd probably be like something just. Why stupid is the sky question. blue? Yeah. Which you can find on Google. Fuck. No. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't. I don't care about the chicken or the egg. No. <laughs> hey, boys. So my confession is that um, me and my miss listen to your podcast like really loud while we have sex because her dad's like next door. 
So we just chuck your podcast on and listen to that while we have sex. My guy. Round of applause for you, mate. And he's wearing Adelaide Crows, so I just that makes Round me like Round of applause. Him. Oh, that was a confession that was put yeah, in. Yeah, but I think yeah, yeah. it's a voice message. I, but yeah, um, they... Wait, so he, l- he listens... Well, because it's that background music that, you know, sometimes you do need a bit yeah. of background noise. So, wait, they... So, they'll just put an episode of the potty on and go to, go he to town. He puts it in, and then in the background, there's you and I talking. Talking about science aliens, and shit. Aliens, UFOs. Uf- and then he the goes... Footy. Um Also, after we finished, the miso said, you know what? I was actually listening to that. <laughs> Shout out to her. Wait. Um, oh, so, like... That, wait, does that mean she's disinterested in what they're doing? Because I she's don't know if it means disinterested, but sometimes... I've had that before where there'll be, like... If I like a, like a movie on in the background, but then it's a good movie, and you're thinking... I'm <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh, Surely what not. the hell? Yeah. Or sometimes there's been a song on, a wrong song, and Carly's yeah. like, nah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does need to like set a mood. So I can understand that. So yeah, I don't know if it means she's disinterested, but I maybe like we've said something that's piqued her interest. And yeah. She's, then she, so she's tuning. She's True. tuned in here, especially. But then she's also tuning in mm. to us. I feel like that would annoy me personally if like they're not fully interested. I would. In what's yeah, happening. I probably wouldn't put two blokes talking on while I'm having no, sex with my missus. No way. However, I respect him for doing I, oh, it. Oh yeah, I rate it highly. I rate everything he's saying. Um. But yeah, the fact that she was listening to us, like, I know it's a she's listening to us. What? Yeah, that's interesting. Getting We're kind of a part of that. Moment, yeah, you know? awesome, awesome, mate. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know that Joe Weller and his mob, Wafflin Wafflin Podcast, yeah. they talk about um, that quite often, where they ask the question of, "I wonder how many of our listeners have sex listening to us, or get turned on listening to us, mm. or." You know, gets I'd, aroused. It would like, be so much more than you think for everyone. A hundred percent. Like you, you obviously got. Oh, there would. I didn't t- even think that that, like what he just told yeah. us, was a thing. Yeah, but it is. You just named him, but I'll take it out. Oh, that's all right. Because yeah. that was a confession, but. Anyway. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's because he sent it as a voice message, yeah. so I got confused. Stitched, but um, what am I trying to say? Like there would have been times where people would have got a stiffy listening to us. Yeah, probably. Or, or just a whatever. girl's just been turned on, like. It is very, very interesting. It's a weird world, If you're turned on right now, let us know. <laughs> because I think just the, the general talk about sexual stuff in general can get people it a bit excited. It sparks something in people's brains, you know? Yeah, a chemical release. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Those endorphins. Yeah, those dolphins. So, there you go. Good on him. Keep going at it. Keep putting us on. Yeah. I wonder what if they. I wonder if he picks like his favourite one. Yeah, and do you last the whole potty or like, is, it, <laughs> is it just a segment? They just get that it's like through the voice messages or just, something. Just the intro. <laughs> yeah, the first ten minutes, and then they just watch the rest of the show. On the way to. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jamo and Dylan, I love the love the podcast. Hey, mate, cheers. Um, I've got a bit of a theory, which is, you know, the night's tragic when the girls are taking photos of each other on the toilet. Do you get what I mean? And what are your thoughts on it? Cheers, guys. I do get what you mean. Interesting. Interesting. Tragic. I was a bit confused, and then you kind of elaborated. We yeah. talked about it a bit earlier. Yeah. So, um, obviously, you can you can say girls definitely more often than boys spend a lot of time in the toilet oh, on, on a night out. Hundred percent. And I I'm in and out of there. I've heard from a lot of girls that bonding in the bathroom is a huge Happens thing. With it's girls. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the backyard banter podcast, which is a new podcast, let's plug it. Fuck it. Three chicks older than us um, from Perth. Uh, they've started a podcast. They've just got audio at the moment on Spotify, maybe a couple of other things, but I've just seen on Spotify. And they're actually talking about this in episode two, um, like girls in the bathroom and like... Having a bond. Having a bonding session. And they they said, oh, I wish we could have a night where we catch up with everyone we've met in the bathroom. Really? That's so and interesting. And have a full conversation. I've never met a bloke in the bathroom, really. Yeah, well, think. like, there's a few, like, Charlie Cameron, like, rum, 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 yeah. when he's doing his piece. But all, and, like, that's like a 10 second thing, yeah. and then everyone's like, fucking. There's off. actually a few boys actually whip out their penis just for fun. Yeah. Like, I've seen that probably three or four times. Blokes just whip out their cock yeah, in front of me. Yeah, people don't bond, like, I love you so. But girls, you know, girls are very yeah, yeah. emotional on a night. I think out. once they get to a certain point, you know. Yeah. Boys in bathrooms literally are in and out. They go in, pee, go out. 
Or they're in there doing some illegal yeah, activities. When, when girls are messy in the bathroom, that's probably a sign that they're coming to the tipping point yes, of going yeah. back down. And that's another thing what you said. That the backyard banter girls were talking about. They were saying, so there's different stages of being drunk. And I feel like their stages were slightly different to a male stage. Oh, yeah. But it was like um, the buzz is the first stage. So you get that feeling. They were saying yeah. like the warmness going down. Like, girls get, that, get there quicker. I oh, feel. yeah, 100%. Yeah. And then... So they go through these stages, and then stage five or six is like that bathroom stage, and then there's like oh, six, six or seven or eight and or whatever, and it starts know, to go just down. Fucked, yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of the the Snapchats, the Instagram stories that you see of girls in bathrooms are very messy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. They're they're that crazy, bro. Yeah. 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 Girls love a good cheeky snap in the bathroom. They do. Peeping over the top and shit. Just, yeah, pissing yeah. with each other. Same toilet seat. It's Manky. Whatever, hey, boys. Love the potty. My question is, if you could go back to one exact point in your life and change it, what would it be and why? And how far back would you be going? Just remember that one little change can change a lot. So, yeah. Thanks, boys. Thank you. What would I do? One little change in our life. Um, Maybe hop on that FIFA YouTube train, bro. That was a cash oh, cow. When, but we, we were young, though. But, Matt, you could roll into it. Might have been a tad too young, though. But, yeah, if you if you had a successful FIFA YouTube back in the day, you're set. Because all of the sidemen, that's basically how they set. started. They're all set. They're all set. Their, their lives are, are finished in a Maybe good way. Maybe invents like, know? a nice, like, you know, get the idea for Uber or Snapchat. Oh, yeah. Or, no, that's actually good. Something to set me but up. Can but we, is she talking more like just in your actual yeah, life? Yeah, I, I think you can't go back and use something. Like, it's not back to the future. So what would I betting. change? Maybe I wouldn't do I think, like, I think like a decision. But how much would that change in your life though? I don't know. It's very, very Why would I enjoy the classes I had? You sure would need to give me some time for that one, I think. Where would I go? What would I change? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I just go back to year ten or nine and have more fun in high school. Yeah, 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 same. Or maybe, oh yeah, yeah, we do that. Maybe go play footy earlier. Maybe there you go. Yeah, yeah, footy earlier. Not Even show up to the game where I break my nose. I probably just <laughs> stay home that day. Big life decisions. I can, for me, I've talked about it before, but talking to girls earlier. Like but having girl friendships in primary school leading into high school, so then it makes high school so much easier. Mm. Yeah, yeah, build that skill. Build the skill I earlier because I, yeah, late, late okay. developer. Um, oh, you live and you learn, yeah. don't you? That's it. And that's why she asked the question. What would you do, Jen? What would you do? Yeah. She yeah. obviously has something in mind that she would change, I Yeah. Hey boys, got a question for the potty. So I was swiping through Tinder one day and I noticed that there's a lot of girls who put in their bios, must be six foot or taller or you have to message first and stuff like that. And I just was like, how can girls get away with that? And then if, if any guys do that, then they would be considered dicks or douchey. Yeah. What are your thoughts on these double standards and other mate, other double standards in real life? Yes, there are. A little are. bit. Yeah, I'd say 100%. So, but I think girls are more supportive of each other than guys are of each other. Which they are. like that as well. They are. I feel like but, that comes into But also, it. I, I think everyone should have the right to have criteria. Like, Oh, yeah. Because oh, it, at the, the end of the with day... The, the, um, the Tinder thing, I agree yeah. with that for well, sure. It, it's, yeah. your, it's literally your dating... Um, criteria like it's what you would want to be with and yeah i think that's yeah. a that's a life decision you have the choice to choose what you want if you say you don't want this particular person that's fine in 100%. my opinion right um so for example if we were to say we want a girl 80 kilos or less then obviously it's going to be a big deal but it's not it's too much different it is, it's not too much different from a girl saying I she wanna... wants 6 foot plus exactly and that's what rog was complaining about yesterday he's not getting the love cuz yeah. he's 170 centimeters yeah. that's the thing let's let's put a call out there now he won't like this but fuck it rog he's only 170 centimeters tall however he's got a big fucking heart he's a great bloke long hair he won't do anything gym built yep 
very studious. Good, yeah, good gonna at have a good career. Like Got, he'll, it'll, it'll be, he'll be looked after. He'll be stable. Perfect marriage material. Even if you want a little fling a ding, hit him up. Good Josh family. Ender. Great guy. Great family. Loving family. Um, so yeah, if you're a short girl, because if there's a tall girl, yeah. he'll probably be a bit intimidated. So you got to be. He's one seventy. So you got to be into guys one seventy. So yeah, you've well, got to be like even, a five foot three girl, a little girl. Yeah, even just a little girl that likes a guy with good charisma because man actually has some personality, right? We shit talk him a lot, but he's a great guy. Goes for Geelong. Goes for Geelong. I don't know if you're into the that. The Mighty you know? Cats lost last night, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's You're welcome. If you're interested in Josh Rognetta, just let us know. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be that mediator. Mm-hmm. We can we we'll can sort something. Tinder. We can sort something. You're from Adelaide. We'll fly. Out. No, we won't no. fly out. No, fuck that. <laughs> ride your bike here or something. Yeah, ride we'll meet your you bike. at the border. Do a poo and run over. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you find some love from that. Yeah, for sure. All right, last voice message of the week. Hey boys, love the potty. Um, me and a mate were just wondering if it is gay to slap your mate's ass. Great question. Um, it's been around the AFL a lot lately. Team, yeah, oh, teammates everyone's getting in trouble for that. Ass. Um, I wouldn't say it's a gay thing. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's a, gay a gay thing. thing. It's just more like a, it could be like yeah, well, you're all drunk, like fuck, it, let's go, like yeah. And it happens a lot in sport, you know, especially in footy. Yeah, um, a lot of butt touching. A lot of butt touching. I think you don't need to go near the hole. No, no, no. no. It's cheek only, bro. It's cheek only. Yeah. It's just a little tap. It's it happens a lot in footy. A little love tap on the ass. Little. Yeah. Um. I think that's fine as long as the person wants it. But I think the only <coughs> sorry, Roni, the only way you um, gauge if a person wants it or not is by doing it once. You know, just a little. Mm, you can see their reaction and keep it male male. Don't go slapping girls' asses. Yeah, nah. we're not telling you that. No, only with consent. Yeah, consent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't see it as a gay so no, thing. No, I don't think it's a gay thing. I mean, it can be a gay thing if that's your intention. It's all about intent. Yeah, yeah, it is. If your eyes sparkle and you're like, oh, Damien. Like, yeah. if it's something like that, then, you know, that's your path. Hey, Amen. Each to their own. That's it. And that's where we'll leave it this week. A little bit of a longer one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, keep... Keep it coming with the messages, the yeah. confessions. Send them in, confessions, voice like, messages, whatever's subscribe, going on. Chuck a few ratings in there. Someone get with Rog. Someone get with Rog. Just make him a happy man. Oh, he is happy. He's a good bloke. He's a great bloke. So, yeah, that's where we'll leave it. Thank you very much. Have a good one. And we'll see you next week. Parties all day, raves at night, beach babes and the boys with the six-four height. The sun and the sand and the Jaeger in your hand that you bought yesterday from the local liquor land.